voluntary clinical field trial ever undertaken, a massive grassroots effort to test Jonas Salk's polio vaccine more than 60 years ago, one that involved 1.8 million children. They were called polio pioneers and they helped change the course of public health. We spoke with one of them who shared his story with WGN. Like everybody else, I've been concerned about the coronavirus and all the people dying and sick. For James Calabrese, the fear is familiar. Back then, children were getting polio. And on TV, you'd see them in wheelchairs and with metal braces. It was the early 1950s, and the polio virus was widespread, causing paralysis and respiratory complications in children. Polio, prior to the availability of vaccines, was really a devastating illness, very much like what's happening now with COVID-19. It seemed like an impossible time. It seemed like a too steep a hill to climb. But then we began to hear things about a potential vaccine, Dr. Salk, and suddenly there was hope. His parents asked the then six-year-old if he'd like to participate in the clinical trial. How could you pass up a chance to stop a disease like that? Children lined up at their schools where the trials were staged throughout the country. We were six, we were seven, and we walked into that gymnasium and they were doctors in white and nurses in white and garbage cans and tables and boxes. And it was frightening. It was a very, very large vaccine trial. They were randomized to receive either the experimental injectable vaccine or placebo. I was convinced that when I took that, uh, that serum, that things were going to be okay for everybody. I, I was sure. About a year later, a letter arrived. Dear parent, we realize you're anxious to know whether your child got Salk vaccine or the controlled material placebo during last year's field trials of the vaccine. Your child got Salk vaccine and is uh, protected against polio. Of the 700,000 children who participated in the control arm of the trial, more than 400,000 received the actual vaccine, the others a placebo. And it occurred to me that the kids who didn't get the vaccine weren't protected from polio, and I worried about how they made out. And I suppose that um, some of them didn't make out so well. Mr. Calabrese received a certificate. In my life, I've gotten a number of certificates, but this certificate, is the most important one I've ever gotten. I think what we can really learn is that if there is a trial out there for a potentially life-saving intervention, that people should be interested in participating in those trials to show that it does work so that it can be rolled out to anyone who needs it. This was a time when we all worked together to beat a horrible, horrible illness. Everybody had a job to do, and as a seven-year-old, I had my job to take the vaccine, and now as a 72-year-old, my job was to stay in the house. It occurred to me that my parents' generation stopped polio. You know, I believe my children's generation will stop the coronavirus. The physical and emotional results of such a trial. Well, once the Salk vaccine was declared safe, potent, and effective, Polio was virtually eradicated from North America. Dr. Tan says we're about a year away from a COVID-19 vaccine, and when the time comes, it will likely be recommended for all ages.